Hello, everyone. I'm Charles Vaillancourt, SRE Team Lead for OVH Cloud Public Cloud Service, and I'll be your host in today's session. OVH Cloud is a global cloud provider offering a wide range of solutions that combine high performance, a transparent and predictable pricing model, while ensuring full control and confidentiality of your data. In today's session, we'll go over the following topics. What are the core services of a public cloud? A brief overview of OpenStack, and we'll explain projects, user roles, and regions. And finally, we will go over project and administrator user creation at OVH Cloud. Before we, we dive into how to use OVH Cloud's public cloud, let's briefly go over what is a public cloud. Typically, a public cloud offers multiple service that you can consume through an API. Let's go over some of the core services that create a public cloud. Firstly, you have a compute service that will communicate with the hypervisor to manage virtual machines lifecycle. The service will handle things like creating, deleting, starting and stopping virtual machines, for example. There's an image service that will handle the installation medium of the virtual machine. Might it be Ubuntu 20.04, Debian 10, Windows Server, or even your own custom image. There's also the storage service that will handle block storage needs and will typically be used for actions such as creating, deleting, and backing up volumes. There's a networking service that will deal with everything related to networks, subnets, ports, and security group rules. And finally, there's the authentication service that will handle things like projects, users, authentication tokens, and rule-based access control enforcement. There are also many other services you can find in a public cloud offer, but we'll cover only these core services in this session. Now that we've covered what services create a public cloud offer, let's see how this translates to OpenStack. Here is the short description of OpenStack from the documentation website. OpenStack is a cloud operating system that controls large pools of compute, storage, and networking resources throughout a data center, all managed through a dashboard that gives administrators control while empowering their users to provision resources through a web interface. Now, this fits perfectly what we've described a few minutes ago, but another way of describing OpenStack simply could be, OpenStack is a set of standard APIs to consume different type of cloud resources. Earlier, we've talked about the core services for a public cloud. In OpenStack, each of those services also has an OpenStack-specific name. Here are how these services are called in OpenStack. The compute service is called Nova. The imaging service is called Glance. Storage is called Cinder. The networking service is called Neutron. And finally, the authentication service is called Keystone. Since OVH Cloud's public cloud offer is essentially OpenStack, for the rest of this session, we'll use OpenStack naming for these services. This will also help if you need to search for any public documentation around OpenStack. Let's jump to understanding OVH Cloud's projects, users, and regions. First, there's a project. An OpenStack project is the top level resource you receive once you order OVH Cloud public cloud service. All cloud resources are created inside a project. Virtual machines, networks, ports, volumes, etc. It's also possible to have multiple projects. You could have one for your development, staging, and production environments, for example. Next, there's users and roles. Inside a project, you can create users. Users can have different roles. Some may be administrator, and others have read-only access to certain resources. Depending on the roles associated to the user, they will be allowed different operations on the project. Projects, users, and roles are therefore handled by Keystone. Keystone, remember, is the authentication service. There is only one Keystone in all of OVH. It's a global service. Now let's go over what are regions. Since projects and users are global, they need to be associated to one or more regions to be useful. But what exactly is a region? OVH Cloud Public Cloud Service is available in many geographical locations. In each of those locations, there are one or more public cloud regions. A region is a set of OpenStack services deployed in a given data center. There can be more than one region in the same data center. For example, if we look at our Beauharnois data center in Quebec, Canada, let's call it BHS for short, we have the following regions, BHS1, BHS3, BHS5, and BHS7. Each one of those regions are identical in terms of services available. Nova, Neutron, Glance, Cinder, and a few others we won't cover today. Now that we've gone over projects, users, roles, and regions, let's quickly go over how we communicate with OpenStack. As we've said previously, OpenStack provides a standard set of APIs. This means many tools exist to communicate with it. Firstly, there's the OVH Manager, 
which provides an easy way to get started, but is not featureful. Next, we have the Horizon Web Interface, which is the official OpenStack web UI to interact with your services. There's also the OpenStack command line client, which is the official tool. And there's also a many SDKs in different languages that you can use to communicate. There's the Python OpenStack SDK, or the popular Gopher Cloud and Go. Terraform can also talk natively to OpenStack with the OpenStack provider. And Ansible can leverage OpenStack to create dynamic inventories. And there's also so many other ways to communicate with OpenStack. Project and users need to be created through the OVH Cloud Manager. Let's jump to a share screen session to see how the process goes in the manager. The first thing we need to do is connect to the OVH Manager and navigate to the public cloud section. If you already have an OpenStack project, this session will log into the first project you already have. If not, you will see a big button to create a new region. In this case, I already have a project, but I want to create a new one. For this, you can create on this little blue arrow and create on Create a New Project. From here, we need to give our project a name. We'll call this one Demo Project. And we need to accept the following contracts. You can read every one of them by following these links. Next, we need to choose a payments means. I'll use credit card for this example. After filling up the information and paying the order, we can jump back to the manager and navigate to our newly created project. From here, we'll need to create a new user. We can scroll all the way down on the left side panel to Users and Roles and click on Add a user to create a new one. We give this user a friendly name. We'll call our demo user. And we need to give it some roles. In this case, we'll use administrator since it suits all the needs that we're going to use to create and delete resources on our infrastructure. Once the user is created, you can see the password on the screen, which you can copy and save for later. And that's it. You've created your first project and user in the manager. In the following sessions, we'll go over how to use this user to interact with OpenStack in many different ways. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you.